We're so excited about this hour. It's fantastic. Everybody's loving it. More than half the stock have gone already and we haven't even started the show. It is Yvonne is doing a, rather than a block of the month, we're doing a row of the month, which is a fantastic idea, isn't it? So many of you loving, so many people message on Facebook to say how much they've loved the quilt. Have a look at the picture of the quilt. There it is, there it is. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? So over the next seven months, or six months after say, so today we're doing the bottom two rows. So we're doing the, the grass, which is the log cabin, the courthouse steps and... Soldier's block. The soldier's box. block. Box. Box. Soldier's box, right? On the bottom. Not the dancing soldier, like I just said. But we're also doing the fence as well. So the grey fence with the gate in it and the cat in it. So we're, we're putting in two blocks for this month. Right, so next month, you can see from that... Oh, no, from that picture. Go back to that picture, Jeremy. From that... So the next month will be those gorgeous flowers, the flower bed running along there. Then the next month will be, we'll look at the main picture now, if that's all right. Main picture, please. Right, so the next month is the houses. Okay, so the next, no, hang on, the flowers are which one month? Three. Flowers are 22nd of June, right? Then the ha 20th. 20th of July are the houses. Then the village shop, which, uh, which is foundation paper piece, those trees, right? That is the what of August, sorry? 17th of August. We'll put all this on our Facebook page. You know, you'd have to remember it all now. Then the next row up, which are the flying geese, which is the 28th of September. And October, Yvonne hasn't given us a date for October Correct. yet. So it's sometime in October. <laughs> but let me also just tell you, you see, it's got blue binding around the outside. The blue binding is included in the star bundle. Yeah, so the, the very one. last row in October, is that's when you'll get the binding for the actual quilt. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. I need to say that the um, flying geese units have got a special, don't just have straightforward flying geese, they have also folded flying geese as yep. well, which is fantastic as well. Um, isn't it lovely? It's such a delight, absolute delight. Right, now before Yvonne talks us through it, I'm gonna tell you, these are the first two months bundles, right? So. The bottom bundle, which is the green one, is here. You get all the fabric you need. You get sewing machine needles. You get your, your, your thread to do this one. And the thread in there is also the thread to do the next one. And you get a quick unpick in there. It's every sewing person's best friend. So this is 49 99 for all of this, because you also get all the fabric that you need for the fence, the gate, the grass behind the gate, and the cat. So all of that, all of that for £49.99. pence. So as I said, all, all of them, and that's a special price for it, it's a special introductory price. All, um, the, uh, more than half the stock have gone, more than half the stock have gone. And each month we'll do a separate row. Yvonne's going to talk more about it now and she's got loads to show you. So I won't be talking very much in this hour because Yvonne has got so much to cram in. So I just want you to say, Loads of people, loads of people messaging in saying how excited they are about it, which yes, is fantastic. So. so that must be lovely. If you design something, you could have come in and everyone could have gone, oh, mm, yeah. is that it, Yvonne? You know what I mean? Yeah. But so oh, no, many people. Yeah, this is a combined effort between Linda and myself. Uh, Linda has worked for me for a very long time. And uh, we started chatting about how, what we could do. And, well, you always start at the bottom and work your way up, yeah. don't you? So it seemed, and one of our very favourite blocks is the log cabin block because it is so versatile. Uh -huh. And it's a really good learning tool. It's the first block that we have people do uh, in our second set of classes. So having done the machine applique beginner's pack and the beginner's pack with Sewing Street, it seemed to make sense that we would do what we would logically mm. do in our classes. And that is a log cabin block. Now. Log cabin blocks are generally supposed to be square. I have seen them come out to be rather elongated or they're not meant to be rectangular. They're meant right. to be square. So that is all about making sure that you are getting your cutting down and your quarter inch seam. You have a lot of seams to sew. And a log cabin and a courthouse steps and a soldier's box are all based around the same idea, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. 
and uh, I have samples of each of them and I'm hoping that we're going to sew a courthouse steps mm -hmm. and a log cabin. Okay. Um, so that was the bottom row and so the concept really was, I came up with the name first, so this is actually called Village Street, so right. it's a combination of the two companies. Because your shop's called, what's your shop called? I, my shop's called Village Fabrics Village and Fabrics. what are you called here? Sewing, sewing Street. Street. Uh, oh. I was going to say, what, me? Or they call me all sorts of things. Really, but. <laughs> but so, you know, Village Street seemed to make sense. Yeah. Um, also, I like to think of any class that we run as a learning experience for people. It's not just a repetition of uh, the same thing. Mm -hmm. So we have gone through um, different techniques on each row. In the pack that we give you, there is a little, I call it the blurb leaflet. That's the, the in the very first uh, envelope, John, that's the one. Yeah. Um, you have a picture of the whole quilt and you have a little bit of information about the quilt. There, for example, um, there's 45 different fabrics used. Oh, what? Um, things like that. I think it's 45, yeah. but I did count them. Some just asked us what the finish size is, yeah. 50 by 40. So um, in here, oh, okay, so this, oh, that's lovely. So that's like a little brochure, all of, no instructions in there. No, it's just no, about it's just, the quilt itself. It's just um, a little bit about how it came about, what it's about, and then there's some hints and tips, so, um, some things that I think are useful. And just, hi, you know, how are you? Yes. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, kind of that's thing. nice. So that comes in this first bundle here. Yeah. What you'll also get in there as well is a set of instructions which Full. you've got over there, I have plus a, draw pictures of everything as yeah, well. Yeah, and anywhere, <coughs> anywhere that you need a template, um, as example for the cat, Oh, yes. Um, all of those uh, pieces are full size on uh, A4 paper. If anyone has any issues, they get it home, they start making it, and they think, oh, I'm really not sure about this. Is there a way they can get in touch with you to ask you about it? At anything? the bottom of the instructions uh, and on the leaflet, our telephone number is there. Oh, perfect. Um, so that's shop, don't ring any other time, but shop opening hours. Shop opening hours yeah. or email. Oh, email's better, yeah. Yeah, better. whichever, because... Um, we started doing our own block of the month about 12 years ago. We had bought a block of the month in from America and it was so wrong that every month we were having to answer questions on all manner of things and one day Linda and I looked at each other and thought, well, you know what, if we are going to have to answer all these queries, let us have made the mistakes and then we'd be in a much stronger position to put things right. And ever since we've been designing block of the months for the shop and we have, we've had a, a lot of success over the years with them and uh, it gives us the opportunity to do something a, a bit bigger and a bit uh -huh. more comprehensive. And also this way as well, <clears throat> once they've watched you do it today, they won't have the they won't have it at home. But if they need to go back, then it goes to, or every show goes onto YouTube. So you'll be able to look this up. You look up Sang Street today's date, and the whole of this demo will stay there forever. So even if you don't get to do the grass until much later on, oh, yeah, it, it'll always be there. The instruction, the, the demonstration will always be there. Um, one of the big advantages about a block of the month is that well, first of all, all your colours are chosen for you, so you have no stress over that. You can break the cost of the quilt down over a period of time. And it actually isn't it so intimidating because you are working on part of the quilt in a time scale. It's not this huge elephant in front of you. Yeah. You know, you, you can uh, do it in very logical size pieces. We aim to be putting about two days work into each block. Right. Now, it, so about 16 hours effort, right. you know. Uh, each row, do you mean, or each block? Yes. Each row. Well, sorry. Yeah, because yeah. you're called, but each it's, row is made up of blocks, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. So in total, we would be expecting you to have to spend about two very long evenings or a weekend doing that month's pack. But also, don't worry if you don't do it in that amount of time. It's your no, project. It, you take absolutely. as long as you want to do it. But it just gauges yes, course, the, um, yeah. you know, so that people think, oh, well, I can do that in an evening. And then, yeah. you know, it's it's a little bit more uh, in-depth than that. Mm -hmm. So I suppose, since I didn't sew very much last no, time. No, I didn't like to say anything. Yeah, I know. I think <laughs> perhaps I should make a start. So I'm going to... Uh, talk about the first row. 
Yeah. Um, cotton thread, quarter of an inch seam. Yeah. New needle in your sewing machine. Yeah. Size 80s, that's what we have included. Yeah. That's where you're going to start. Get uh, your sewing machine set up. For the three different blocks that there are across the first row, there is obviously a lot of cutting to be done. Uh -huh. And it's a matter of making sure that you have the right piece for the right block. So on the diagrams here, you will see that the log cabin block, each of the blocks has a center and four log cabins, it then is numbered. For the courthouse steps, there is a center block and then capital letters for the sequence of piecing. Uh -huh. And in the soldiers box, the assembly, there is a center block. And then it's again alphabetical, but this time it's a uh, lower case. So you're going to put little a, then little b, oh, so little that's c, your key little from d. And that <coughs> then me. is what the piece one, piece oh, two. Brilliant. So that's going to be a uh, part of your log cabin. Yeah. Piece A and B is going to be part of, the, they were large A's and B's, that's going to be your courthouse steps. Mm -hmm. So, um, carefully label up your pieces as you cut them. Yeah. Um, you will see that I do have little pins and pieces attached. So, let's um, start with the good old fashioned log cabin. Mm -hmm. Now, all the fabrics are there, but you have to cut all your strips from the fabrics. There's you enough do. fabric here, but you need to cut from these, the pieces that you've got Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Which, again, because these are quite narrow strips, get your best press out. Yeah. Make sure that you have pressed it and that you are cutting flat fabric. Yeah. yeah? Not things with um, little... Um, creases on them. No, exactly. Over three quarters of the stock's gone, you need to know. I mean, not just in baskets, but checked out, checked out. So this is um, a centre. So oh, I've made a start to this log cabin block. So I have my centre. Then there is a light side, which are the beiges, and a darker side, which are the greens. So piece one, piece two, piece three, piece four. You then, I'm going to just lay this out, and this is what I would do at home. Um, so let me pick up these pieces because these are now the dark sides. So these are the greens going round here. Also, at this point, it won't look like they fit, will it? Because you've got your seam allowance. Because this is so all be about seam allowances. So this is why you're just laying it out so that you get your sequencing right. And trust me, it will all fit. Now, you know, John, I'm obviously having one of those days. Oh, what have you lost now? Well, the iron. I haven't plugged the iron in, have I? Because what you really have to do is um, you must sew and press, sew and press. Right. Don't so you bob down and put the iron on. I think um, I'll just tell you, three quarters of the stock is gone. We are we are going to ask if we can get some more because it looks like we're, we're heading for a sellout and I don't want people to miss out who haven't been able to watch the live show. I... And, and there'll be or any questions you've got, we are sending them through to Ian, the buying department, so he can sort all that out, what's going to happen in subsequent months and everything like that. Um, what, if you, very quickly, you know, in the last hour, the lady, um, Tracy, who wore that gorgeous dress, the dress was made of crepe, so it didn't scrunch up and didn't crease. That's fine. I meant the belt, not the dress, but it was amazing. It was, if you missed it, it was this, right? Very quickly, right? That is her husband, and he was drunk. Right, okay? <laughs> That's what she says. That's not me made up. That's what she says. Oh, right. scandal. Have you found, have you, are you all right to go now, then? Iron. Iron board. Iron, and, and, and I've got an iron board, because I do try and iron on the cutting mat sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, we have a log cabin block. We have currently attached pieces one, two, three, four. Yeah. So piece five is going to go on there. And you all with the log cabin, you always have to go in the same, once you've started, you've got to go in the same direction you all do. the time, haven't you? And the, um, the diagram shows that. And as 
I've laid it out there. Again, you can see where you're at. Brilliant. This is probably the the most difficult one of these blocks. Okay. And uh, the courthouse step one is more straightforward. It's more symmetrical. Okay. Uh, Ellen says, I ordered the village street, the village street, a special treat for me. I absolutely love it. And Jane says, good morning, John. Loving the show as always. It brightens my day. That's nice, Jane. Thank you. Right. So this is very rep repetitious. Yes, yes, yeah. But... Oh, she's ironing off the table. You can't watch the ironing. You can't watch the ironing. No. Well... Don't worry. No, no, no. Don't no, worry. don't... don't uh... Right, yep. so that's going to sit there. That now is going to come down there. If yep. that doesn't fit that, you've got a problem. On, Stop right. and put it right at this point. Okay. Okay, so... I, no seams to match or anything, are there? On the no, no, not a... No. But there are a lot of seams. Yes. So across the, the entire block, you've got eight seams going across, I think. Uh -huh. So if you were just an eighth of an inch out, you'd have lost a, an yeah, inch going an inch, across. Yeah, exactly. I say, I have seen some of our beginners come away with a, uh, a rectangle, but uh, oh, we get them sorted. Uh, oh, and the other thing we need to say is always use the same machine. Don't swap machines. Uh, that is so true. You've got to have the same quarter of an inch. Yes, yeah. And, um, I press from the front. Uh -huh. I will lift this up in a moment. Yeah, yeah, you can do it on the last round when you haven't got yeah. pieces on there. And do you press any particular direction? Is there a, a direction um, to press? I, yes, in this instance, I'm pressing away from the centre so that on all of them. On, on all of it. Yeah, brilliant. So I've now gotten the uh, second round of the light. I'm now going for the second round of the the dark, the dark oh, in this on. instance. Did you have that the right way around? It was me questioning something. Thank you, John. No, 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 it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to no. show you up or anything. Oh, I didn't no, want you to John's sew it. John's not taken, no. not taken that way, honestly. So that is going on there. And you do have to just be mindful of trying to keep your seam allowances flat. So you could put a pin in. Mm -hmm. Now at this point, it's not very, it's not that big, but as you get to the last couple of logs that you're putting on, then I probably would put a couple of pins in, mm -hmm. just where the seam allowances are, making sure I stay flat. So um, just uh, I tend to press the, um, the stitches uh, and just set the seam, that's uh -huh. the word. Then you're not ironing, you're pressing. So you're trying not to stretch things. So there we go. So this should fit along there. Yeah. And thankfully it does. So <laughs> the kind of... Okay, so again we will just carefully stitch along here. Make sure that you stay square. Machine is set at um, 2.4. Right. Is that uh, the size you'd normally patchwork on? Um, uh, yes. My... my uh, machines tend to just be calibrated a little bit differently. Um, so you might want to think about a 2.4 or a 2.6. Mm -hmm. My machine at home, I would be sewing on 2.5. Oh, okay. It's so just, it depends on your machine. Yeah. It does depend on the machine. But um, not too small. There's no point. Yeah. Right. So that, and if you were being very... Uh, precise at this point, you probably could measure that and make sure that you're square. Yeah. Better to stop and put things right early on, otherwise there is a great need for the unpicker. Yeah. Well, you got one in the pack. Well, you know, let's be honest about it. We all use them. Oh, yes. 
and it's better to sort it than look at it for five years thinking, well, that bit's not right. And we all do it. Just want to. I don't, I don't tend to fix the seams um, because I don't need to, because each seam is encased within another seam. Right, okay, I've got to make an announcement now. Today's stock, there are only 10 left and there's more than 10 in baskets, right? Now, Yvonne, I don't know if she knows this, <clears throat> has got enough fabric at home to cut more. But because we're not allowed, it's not cut yet, is it? It's not been yeah. cut yet. And as we're not allowed to sell anything that isn't already in a pack, what we're saying is if you do miss out today, they'll be ready for the next show when Yvonne comes. So the next month, you will be able to get these two plus the third month as well. 22nd of June, that is, 22nd of June. So if you do miss out today, because there's only 10 left and more than 10 we've got in baskets. So Yvonne, I'm afraid you've got to go home and start cutting some more out. <laughs> I'll pop round. I'll yeah, yeah, round. yeah, it'll be fine. What, what are grandchildren for? Yeah, Slave exactly. labour. Yeah. Yeah. How old are they? Three and five or something. <laughs> but anyway. Not, yeah, not quite two. And he's just had his fourth birthday. Oh. But, no. Um, um, so I'm just warning you now, though, that if you do miss out today, you haven't missed out completely. You don't think, oh, I can never do it. I can never do it. They will be available for the next show. In fact, what they should do is they should, as soon as they're ready, put them on the website, really, so that you can be ready for the third one. We'll talk to them afterwards, but they'll def there's definitely yeah, we'll, more we'll, to be cut. We will try and do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just need to just be careful today. If you, if, you, if you have got it in your basket, not everyone who's got it in their basket is going to get it. Okay. Okay. Set the seam, press with the side of the nose of the iron. Mm -hmm. And we are looking good. <laughs> and again, everything is matching up. If at this point I had found that things were not aligned, I would have to go back and check the measurements on my seams. Yeah. Now, what we would have are our beginners do would be to actually measure along the length of the seam to make sure it was a quarter of an inch. Right. So if I, I'll just, I, here I put a couple of pins in. What yeah. I've done is I'm going through the seam allowances, so I'm going to hold those in place. And if um, I'm sewing this in white because it's what's on the sewing machine yeah, yeah, here, yeah. you will be using your beige fab. Yeah. Uh, thread that you have in there but if I were to put let's do that if I were to put this ruler down you can see that that seam all the way along there is a quarter of an inch wide yeah yeah that's your check okay that's your double check and you can see that I should have had a, put, a pin in here because that seam has alliance has over? just just folded mm -hmm. over it's not a huge problem but that's the you know, you've got the opportunity to take your time yeah. and do this. Sue says, poor Yvonne should be cutting fabric in her sleep. Oh, no, I, I write instructions in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, because not only are we doing this going forward, we're also doing another show each day with, an, with a new project. Oh, yes, of course. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so each time you're in on those months, you're not just doing the one no. block for this, you're doing a complete something else. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, so... Uh, what day of the week is the 22nd? It's the 20th is a Sunday. Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, I suppose. Am I in on that day? I can't do it without you, John. No, I'm in. I'm in <laughs> that day. I'm in that day. <laughs> you're in for most of June, from what I... 22 shifts I'm doing in June. Okay, so let's just lift this up here. Yeah. So one, press across, that's just setting the, setting the seam, it just yeah. pushes the thread in. Then we are going to run the nose of the iron um, along that seam because it's really important that it is flat and you don't leave a little tuck, which is what tends to happen if you iron from the back. Uh -huh. 
So very last one across here. Okay, and look at that, we're still matching up. I'm impressed today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed you made it here this morning. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> I think it's what grandchildren do to you some days. How oh, do you reckon? Um, yeah. We actually, uh, we went out yesterday. Oh. We went out to a garden centre yesterday oh. and uh, had a cup of coffee and there was chocolate ice cream for certain people, uh -huh. little people. And so it was just so nice to do something um, normal. Yeah. Uh, but we were outside in a sort of marquee, so I've, mm -hmm. I felt very comfortable. Yeah. I uh, went to a garden centre yesterday because I thought, well, I'm going to treat myself to some new garden furniture. I went to three different garden centres and not one. They'd all sold out of oh, every wow. piece of garden furniture. B&Q had one umbrella, but no umbrella stand. Oh. So I didn't spend any money. Wow. I, I, I bought garden furniture last summer for the, you know... Yeah, yeah, for the new, yeah. For the new house, etc. So it had just... Uh, I was fortunate that way. Okay, so you, we have just made one of the two log cabin blocks that you need to make. Uh-huh. Um, here's the one I did earlier. Now, okay. do, are they identical or are they mirror images of each no, other? No, they are identical. Okay. Because, again, it you can turn. Okay. Yep. So you, ha you make two log cabin blocks. Mm -hmm. You then have your soldier's block, which is in the middle. Yeah. And it is simply the same colour in strips going round. Oh, so it's still a log cabin, but still instead of changing colours, you just to keep the It's same. about where the colour placement is. Okay. And that's the central one. Uh-huh. So that leaves us with the courthouse steps to do. So again, just for ease of time here, uh -huh. I have... Put, so, in your instructions, courthouse steps are your capital letters. Okay? Right. So, capital letters. Cut pieces. This is, a, this is an easier um, stitch, really, because it's opposites each time. Right. So, you don't yeah. go round. You don't go round. You, you just do opposites. So, mm -hmm. you can sew the two pieces before you need to go to the ironing yeah. board. But that's as much as you do without pressing, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can get this done. So uh, repetition, but this is about getting your accurate quarter of an inch seam mm -hmm. and just getting into the rhythm of how your sewing machine works for you. Because you're going to have lots of lots of quarter inch seams to sew. If I was making these at home, I would be making the two of them together. Right, yeah. Because you, again, you make two of the courthouse mm -hmm. step blocks. Um, I do have my ironing board just a little bit away from the sewing machine, so I have to get up and move. Good. Uh, I think it's... Uh, Good for the good for the body. When Victoria Carrington was on on uh, was it Saturday? She's got on those watches that tells her that she's not moving enough, and kept beeping during the show, and she kept saying, "Well, oh, it tells me I need to move. I've got to walk." And she hasn't <laughs> been anywhere. Well, um, I my my phone does a little bit of that, and oh. I looked at not seriously, but I, I look at it every couple of weeks just yeah. to see and it's telling me I'm walking less this year than I did last oh. year and I'm thinking oh, that's not good I was locked down last yeah. year <laughs> I must, well, well I we must... used to do the hours walk every afternoon when we were in proper lockdown didn't we yeah um not well, together we don't live no, near each other no I I think I must have been in the garden yeah you know so again we're now doing our greens opposite yeah uh -huh. so we move to our next shade of green um, mm -hmm. It's a funny little noise then, what was that? For? Well, it was a little um. Uh -huh. I was just considering how 
much people wanted to watch me do this. Right. Well, in you can relation, the next one if you want, because you want to show us how to do the garden gate, don't you? We've got lots of time, we're fine. But, well, um, that was why I was just, yeah. there was that little... Mm. Now, you can so finish, what, finish that block. Yeah, so I was just thinking that perhaps I could... I'll at least lay this out yes, in yeah, total yeah. to show people mm -hmm. what it will look like. And you know what? I'm getting a little bit off kilter here. Oh. Yeah, and you know what? I think that this is because my sewing machine at home... Oh, and you've done half a block. And what I, we always the, say is it don't yeah, do half at home and half and here. And this quarter of an inch here is smaller than my quarter of an inch oh. at home. So... I'm going to just, I think, sew this and then I'm going to lay the rest of it out. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I think um, I can make it work for this one. Then I think it's time to just finish it off at home on my machine. Yeah. Well, I'm picky it all when you get home. Oh, possibly not. Possibly okay. not. But if. If I go any further, I would right. have to unpick it. And if you if you've sewn them together precisely and on the same machine, do you need to square them off afterwards, or you should shouldn't. they be all right? They should be bang on um, okay. eight and a half inches unfinished. Uh -huh. So we are setting the scene setting the seam, pressing outward towards the, towards the log, away from the centre. So you have, I, I think it's eight um, quarter inch seams that you sew uh -huh. around this, I, I could be wrong. You really got to get this nailed on this particular block because the next row you have even more quarter inch seams to right. deal with. So that's going to go on there. Yeah. And they're not very No, no, far. don't say it, don't say it, don't say no. it. Just put, lay it out, it's fine. And then that's on there. Okay, perfect. Okay? Yeah. And this is your finished one. Okay. So you have two court house steps, uh -huh. two log cabins, uh, we decided that the log cabins look best on the corner, kind of anchored the, the quilt at the bottom, mm -hmm. and the soldier's box was in the middle. Right. You know, if you want to do yours differently, you go ahead and yeah. do it. Uh, I think probably the soldier's block does need to be in the middle, yeah, yeah. but you could alternate well, where the, the two, other yeah. two are. So that is row number one done. Okay. Now, as John mentioned earlier, if you run into problems, um, we are at the end of a telephone line or an email um, or refer back here. I have been thinking, only thinking, about doing some kind of Facebook Live thing so that if people wanted to ask me a, a question oh, about yeah, yeah. any of this, then that's something that we might think about doing. Yeah. But only if there's a demand for it. Yeah. Um, so you get a completely separate instruction sheet, completely se separate picture, and your fabrics and your grey thread for this one. Yes, the fact that the whole, uh, this is a double pack, we've, put, we've slotted the two threads yeah. into the same yeah. position so that they sit neatly together. But you, um, so we've used a peel thread, uh, a, like a beigey kind of thing for the log cabins. Yeah. For the fence, fence for the fence, it's a grey fence. Yeah. I was just taken aback by the, uh, I was about to say I should have put black and white in here for your zebra crossing, John. Yeah. <laughs> or a zebra. <laughs> but, well, it would have been I'm, quite nice. A I, I, I do have really some street. fabric with zebras on. Oh. Well, so there you go. That there was, you, go. you know, there is a, de a design uh, feature that could have come about. Yeah. So these are all little short strips. Yeah. Right. Little short inch and a half, I think it is, wide strips, so you do not have much leeway. 
quarter inch seams all the way along. Make sure that you are pressing everything in one direction. And this is one half. So I believe there are 18, I think there are 18 strips on one side. All I have here, I, I tended, uh, I think the best way to do this is to sew them in threes because there are three fabrics mm -hmm. and then join them together. So right. um, that's the first bit. There's another uh, set of six and then this one's going to go on here. It's again, it's repetitious, but remember with all the practice that you've had with your log cabin row, these short pieces with no seam allowances to keep flat, it's going to be easy. And are they just randomly placed then? No, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Because there's three colours. Oh yes, yes, so it is. One, two, three, one, two, three. So you've got the three, that, that you've obviously got the linear, the Macau, um, uh, what's it called? Linen, linen texture. Look. Yeah, linen. And, and then a spotty one. And that's dimples. Dimples. Isn't that a lovely name for yeah, a fabric? Yeah, dimples. And then what's and then the dark grey. That's is, linen texture. No, the, the, this one here. That oh, one, that's just a solid. And that's that just one goes a solid, on the top of the fence. And that's the top of the fence. And the gate. Yes. Yes. Uh, the gate posts. Mm -hmm. So um, I am. All I'm doing here is sewing the last of these sets of three together. Uh -huh. Um, now, I'm not going to press from the back. Well, I am kind of, but I'm going to go to the front afterwards because I want to make sure that all of these are going in the same direction. So I'm simply doing that to go right. across them. Then I'm going to turn it round and make sure that each of those seams is completely pressed. Is completely pressed. And of course, if you're on your ironing board, you're not having to deal with things slipping around. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> No, I'm... Ironing for... board for Mrs Macadamia Nuts. Yes, please. And a seat oh, for oh, my, sewing mach oh. my sewing machine that my little legs were could actually be on the floor. Oh. So that's the second half, yeah? Yeah. And you're going to put the strip across yeah. the top there. Um, take your time, pop some pins in for that. Now, the construction of the gate. This is going to be an interesting... Uh, demonstration here as always <laughs> <laughs> um, because I didn't bring any instructions for this but that oh. does not matter okay it doesn't matter it's a ma it's simply the sequence of how you need to start putting this together right um, the first thing oh maybe maybe I've been sensible how about that I did so you need to start with the grass right um, definitely put a little bit of spray starch on this mm -hmm. or best press something to just yeah. keep it from moving. Whenever uh, we come to the next row, we are going to be doing proper bias strips. So we will be cutting fabric on the bias. Right. But just as a bit of a practice run for the crossbars of this gate, we are going to use the same technique to create the, um, the crossbar. So we have our width of fabric, well, our, it's three quarters of an inch is what we're looking at uh -huh. here. Is it cut on the straight of grain? So it, this, this is on the straight yeah. of the grain. Yeah, if I pull it, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah not going anywhere. Yeah. Uh, next month, they'll be so on the, the, the bias. The stems of the flowers are biased yeah. one. So this is a straight one, yeah. But I thought, good opportunity to mm -hmm. show you how I create a bias strip. Yep. And there are many ways of doing it, but this is the way that means you... I think you have more control. It gives you a, a texture, a dimension. So we are going to turn a third of the width and a third of the width so that we are making a little... Oh, so we don't fold it in half? No. It's literally, right, okay, it's the edges three. are turned in. It's in three. And I tack this. 
Um, you can um, mark this with a Hera marker. Mm -hmm. um, Hera is the um, Japanese for scratch. Yeah, we sell so those on the website. You do. So you can mark the the line in in th mark the fabric in thirds using the Hera marker, mm -hmm. and you can then press it in place. Um, so, so you're turning the outside to the middle and the outside to the middle, is that what you're doing? No. No. In thirds. In thirds here. So what happens is that fold goes to the th into oh, there. Oh, oh, I see. And yes. because there is that thickness of fabric, whenever you do that fold, it naturally doesn't bring that raw edge to the, ed to the folded see, edge. Got it, got it. So we're in thirds. Yeah, not, yes. Not not in, yeah. Not as you would buy a bias no, binding no, no. Okay. strip. I'm glad. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Uh, the hair marker that we just talked about. Here, this is what it looks like on the website. Yeah. There it is. Really useful. That's tool. a very close picture, Hannah. Oh, we haven't seen it yet. Oh, there you go. No, it's right now. It's working now. There you go. That's the hair marker that we were just talking yeah. about. They used to be made of like um, bone, bone, didn't they? But obviously yeah. ours isn't bone at all. No, <laughs> vegan friendly. Yes. So I have simply tacked along this and I now have a piece of fabric that is not going to move because I have tacked it. Yeah. Um, I find that whenever I just press things, I get a little bit more movement than I would yeah. like. So this is now gonna go there. Oh, so you make two of those then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a crossbar fence uh -huh. uh, gate. So. Or the no parking square, as we thought it was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> on my on this uh, Fifty Shades of Grey uh, yeah. zebra, zebra crossing. crossing. Well, it's a very wide village street, isn't it? it? <laughs> it's, it's a very strange village. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You've not visited my village. Then. No, no. So we now are running this from uh, corner to corner. Yeah. And it is long enough. Mm -hmm. And this is where these little... Applique pins, which I just love. Okay, they're available on the website as well. Yeah, Clover again. Yeah. So um, you can press these. They um, Are they glass-headed? No, they're not, but whatever it is doesn't melt. I know oh, from experience. Okay. Okay. okay, oh yeah, Six ninety nine. <laughs> they are for the little applique pins. They're tiny, tiny, very sharp pins. Yes, and they're about a centimetre long. Now, this is where, of course, I haven't threaded this needle. Oh, we had them. I didn't know they were on the trolley. Yeah. I, I did send a, a listing. Yeah, thank you. I didn't see that. Oh, no, hang on. On the trolley, there was just this on the trolley this morning. Were they for your next hour? For what, you just dropped something. So There's the still of them. Six now, I don't want to touch that in case she's not sanitised. That's all. Don't look at me like that. Don't stand like that either. Okay. So at this point, you have an option to machine along both sides of the um, crossbar or to stitch it down by hand. Mm -hmm. The one on the quilt, we have machined right. across it so that uh, we could show you that. This is simply a slip hemming stitch. Now, because you have folded uh, in thirds, you have a fold on each side, side so yeah. it is, um, I have used a matching thread, I'm sorry folks, but you're not supposed to see these stitches. So you're going into the back, sliding along, coming up into the fold, and just tugging. You can use the grey thread, surely, that's in the kit, could you? Yeah, that that's right? what I'm doing. Yeah. That's exactly no, what no, I'm doing. No, no, you've got, you got the gra brown one on yours. You've got uh, brown from here. Oh, you swapped it. I didn't see you swap it. Now, I I had, I used some tacking thread. Oh, that's why for I could there. see a different that's colour, what, yeah. yeah. So now that people the could one see. from the kit. So I'm now using yeah. this one. So, um, of course, you could use a fancy stitch across mm. here to, again, add something. Well, it depends something. what kind of gate. Absolutely. Um, the size of the grass 
is not big enough for a five bar gate. Right. That's so, <laughs> you see, we we you we thought it through, uh, we have many very strange discussions, Linda yes. and I, yeah. about these things, and we we try and come up with something that looks to be in proportion. Yeah. So you you can stitch across here. Right. Let's. Let me just put the needle in there and because the next part of the construction, of course, is to put the sidebars on. Mm -hmm. So let's progress a little bit so that people can see a, a finished... Um, gate. Well, something that pretends to be a gate. Yes. I don't get it all finished. So we're going to put sides on. Oh, so we're going back to piecing now then. This is yeah. the applied on top. Okay. It is. I'm just going to put the iron on the floor. Yeah, just remember it's there. You know what doesn't like to sit this iron on the floor? <laughs> okay, it's... Uh, look, I'm just having one of those days, yeah. aren't I? Right. So... Let's very carefully, because I've still got pins and everything isn't quite attached. So at home you'd have finished the hand stitching? I would do stitching. all the hand yeah. stitching yeah. Um, so that I have created the grass and the crossbars. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to put the two side... And this is the one that's going to be tricky. Let's just move that pin back a little bit. There we go. And we're lining that up. And this piece, of course, you have cut to be the same size as the grass behind. Mm -hmm. And all of the cutting instructions are uh, in, yeah. your, in your set of instructions. And of course, I have, where possible, uh, given them um, in brackets at the end of the uh, cutting instruction, it tells you what that piece is. And it can be a really useful thing to put things into little bags. Yes. Um, yeah, because you might not sit and do it all in one go as well, might No. You, so. um, personally, I always do my cutting during the day, but hand sewing I would do in the evening. Uh -huh. It's very easy to make cutting mistakes. We all do it. And I would tend to try and do it in good light. Mm -hmm. Right, I just want to do that. This has twisted a little bit. I should have had a little bit of spray. St I, I have put some best press on my grass. Right. Because... The, these crossbars uh -huh. are not on the the piece of fabric. It's oh, not, it's on, not the on the cross, the bias, not on the bias. But you are going across the bias of the grass. Yeah. So there was a little bit of give in this green. So a drop of spray starch, best That's press, right. something to give it a bit yeah. of uh, body. So it wasn't going to move. Is what is required. So I'm now putting the top and the bottom on, uh -huh. and I will not burn myself on the iron. Uh, please would... don't. No. Not today. No, it's... Um... If you feel more comfortable with it, you put a couple of pins in. Uh-huh. Um, as you were saying earlier, this is not a race. No, none no, of this not is. You have um, you have a whole month to get it ready for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I would suggest that you do try and keep up. It, oh, okay. Um, it just some people don't start until they've received everything, and right. I I always think that's a bit intimidating in itself. Yeah. Where, but then, if you look on the Sewing Street Facebook fan page, so many letters, um, there are people who are just starting projects they bought from Sewing Quarter like three years ago and things like that. So people often, sometimes buy a project and then don't even open it till you know oh, years uh, later. Or we've whatever. we've had people. Um, like 10 years afterwards, start a project. 
and um, I, I kind of chuckle whenever <laughs> she phoned up and said, I, I wanted to make it bigger or something like this. Did I still have any of the fabric? Oh, no. And I thought, what do I say? Right. <laughs> and I, we had to get back and say, no, ever so sorry. And I thought to myself, had I still got fabric that, that was that old, I would no longer be in business. No, exactly. <laughs> but I didn't like to say that to her. No. Um, so... So to get us started, it is a little bit prescriptive. We are doing all of these nice quarter inch seams, but you get, there gets to be a bit more of putting a bit of yourself into the quilt as mm -hmm. we go um, further up, along. Further up. So this is now the grass at the top. Right. Yep. And I just sew that on there. And I'm very pleased to say that we just about have a gate, John. Oh, good. And it all looks as though it's fitting together. So take your time with your cutting. Mm -hmm. Measure your quarter inch seam with your first couple of seams yeah. on your log cabin, etc. And make sure that you are achieving a quarter, an accurate quarter of an inch. Uh -huh. As you're getting both of these um, kits together, which is the easier row to do, this one or the log cabin row? Probably the log cabin. Oh, okay, okay. So Probably do you still do the, the log, log cabin, cabin first, yeah. Because there are, what, 17 seams across there. Okay. And that, if, you're, if that's not accurate, you're going to have to be very inventive. Yeah. Um, now, I would... I would start probably with the soldier's block. Okay, yeah. Start with the one in the middle. Yeah. And so if I move that, I can just um, put these pieces yeah. together. I'm not going to... Is there, I'm going to ask you quickly because we're going to add time, but is there a template for the cat inside the pattern? Yes. Oh, brilliant. Full size. Sorry, I'd forgotten about the cat. No, now, no, if no. you don't happen to have a black cat, it is a simply... Very small, it's a four inch square of fabric that you require to make a cat. Right. So if you have a tabby cat or you want to do a black and white one, then you go for it because that's what this is about. This is about making it your own. Okay, so you've put a four inch square of black in for the black cat, but if you've got fabric at home that you want to make it out of, or some zebra fabric that you want to have a zebra sitting on the zebra Well, crossing. who knows? But you could have a little cat with a little black tail yeah, or, yeah, yeah. you know. But just... there was the lady on the one, um, not portrait stuff of the year, the landscape of the year, and she was painting real landscapes, but then there was a bit of like fantasy, like a monkey yeah. or something, oh, you know, like, yeah, it's up to you, you it, can do what yeah, you want. Yeah, this is where you get to make it yours. And you, you won't know? be offended if and people... Not at all, because I am I would rather have had a little puppy dog, but more people like cats than than dogs, so oh, we decided really strange, on a cat. Oh, because if we have cat and dog fabric, the dog fabric always sells quicker. It's because the I think there's probably less... Uh, choice on dog oh, fabric. I see. Yvonne, that was absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. I've got nothing to round up. Um, now, Yvonne will be cutting more. So if you have missed out today, Yvonne will be cutting more. We will keep you updated as to whether they either come to the next show or whether we put them on the website so you can get them straight uh, sooner before the next show. The next show is the 22nd of June. Tuesday, 22nd of June, and we will be doing the row with the flowers, which has bias on it and flowers and applique and all sorts of things like that. That's right, isn't it? Being, yes. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Yep, so that will be, Yvonne, it's been so popular. Thank you so oh, much. No, you're welcome, John. Uh, Great uh, to see everyone. Hi, it's Yvonne at Village Fabrics. Um, I'm just here to talk about the next set, the next row in Village Street. I hope that you have enjoyed the first two rows and that you've got those log cabins and that cats in place. Always best to try and keep up. The next row is the machine applique row and also includes some bias strips. This whole project can be seen as a skill building exercise. So besides actually enjoying and uh, creating something that you would want to hang on the wall, you should be adding to your skill base, which is always a good thing. 
You will always hear me saying that I like to use cotton with cotton fabric. So in this month, when your package comes through the door, you'll find that you have coordinating Guterman cotton threads to go with the fabrics in the pack. So this is row three. I look forward to joining you in your living room once again and see you from row four.